YouTube removed the ability to add published videos on YouTube when they got rid of the old YouTube video editor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a published video from YouTube, add a picture to it in video editing software, then re-upload it to YouTube, then link the old video to the new video. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I show you how to trim the beginning, end or middle section of an existing video on YouTube without affecting the views, comments and rankings. My name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Step 1. Select the video from your video manager. I'm going to select this one, How to Make a YouTube Channel Trailer 2018. Step 2. Download the video. Click the drop down box. Click download mp4. Okay, I've downloaded to my computer and here it is my downloads folder. Step three, edit the video in your video editing software. I'm using ScreenFlow for the Mac, but you can use any video editing software you like, such as iMovie, which is free for the Mac, or you could use Shotcut, which is free for PCs. Now I'm gonna drag my video file onto the timeline to edit it. Here's my video file. First, I'm gonna scale it so it fits into the window then move the scale slider up. Now the image fits into the window. Now I'm going to import an image to the timeline and add it to my video. I'm gonna select the stock image from my stock image folder, drag it down to the timeline. I wanna place it right after this video clip. First I'm gonna detach the audio, so just right click. Click detach audio. Then I'll highlight both tracks, right click, split the clips and delete the ones I don't want then move this image that I want next to the timeline. I'm going to scale it to fit in the window. So I go up here, click scale. I want to extend this image for a few more seconds. So I'm just going to drag it. So I'm going to overlap it so there's a transition there. Then I'm going to extend the audio. Then I right click on the audio and add an ending transition so it fades towards the end. Now I'm going to export this file and save it as a .mp4 file so it's ready to upload to YouTube. So just go to File, Export, and I'll call it New Channel Trailer Tutorial. I'm going to click Export, and here's a new .mp4 file on my desktop ready to upload to YouTube. Step 4, Upload to YouTube. Click the camera icon, click Upload Video, set the privacy settings to private, click the arrow, click New Channel Trailer, click Open. Now it's uploading the new video file. Step 5, you want to optimize the video by entering the title, description, and tags. You also want to add an attractive thumbnail so it can clearly be seen in the search engines. After you've optimized the video and added a custom thumbnail, change the privacy settings to public. In this scenario, I'm just going to choose unlisted and click save changes. Here's the last video clip that fades into my image. Step 6, link the old video to the updated video. So I'm going to grab the URL of the new video. Now I'm going to create a card on the old video that links to the new video. Add card, add the URL of the new video in the box. Click customize the teaser text and put watch updated video in the custom messages and click create card. I can move the card on the timeline so it appears in the first five seconds. So if I play the video now, then the card pops up watch updated video in the top right hand corner. If I click on that, shows my card to the new channel trailer. Click on that and here's my new channel trailer that shows the image at the end. Here are some important things to keep in mind. Number one, you can add images to existing videos on YouTube using cards and end screens. For example, if you link to a video and a card, it'll display the thumbnail of that video. If you link to a web page or landing page in your end screen, it'll show the image from that page. Number two, use copyright free images to add to your videos. Click the link in a card for seven sites where you can use copyright free images to use commercially on your videos. Number three, use the community tab to share images, videos and polls with your YouTube community. You currently need over 10,000 subscribers to activate this feature on your channel. However, I'm sure that YouTube's going to roll out this feature to more channels in the future. What if you want to trim or cut the beginning, end or middle section of an existing video on YouTube? Don't worry, just click the link in the card to learn how. You'll be able to trim an existing video on YouTube without affecting the views, comments, and rankings. If you need help growing your YouTube channel, click the subscribe button below 
and check out the related videos over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.